Yo, what is going on you guys? It's your boy Alvarez. I am back with some more Madden 17. In today's video guys, I'll be bringing you guys another offensive mini scheme. And the formation is going to be out of the New Orleans Saints playbook. So let's hop into it. So the formation we will be going over today guys is strong, close, and it is out of the New Orleans Saints playbook. And the play I like to come out in is halfback off tackle. Um, the reason why I like this formation is because it sets the tone in the run game and you establish the run game with this formation. And once you establish that run game, you can hit them with the play action and um, be able to pass the ball all over them. So what I like to come out in is halfback off tackle. So here, guys, this is what the play looks like, halfback off tackle. You just got to find those holes and figure out uh, how to get there. Um, it's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple play. Uh, it's not pretty hard to read your you're either going to bounce to the outside or you're going to hit between Tavon Austin and the tight end. So that's pretty much those are pretty much your two holes that you're going to hit. So this is that halfback off tackle. This is where I like to come in. This formation is really great, guys, just to establish your run game. If you're just trying to get your run game going and um, you're, you're struggling trying to run the ball, this is definitely a great formation to run out of, especially with the halfback off tackle. Now we're going to run the halfback. Let's switch it to the halfback dive. Maybe you need that one or two extra yards, and they're loading more of that right side. You can hit them with the halfback dive, hit the cutback, and there you go. You just picked up a nice five yards. And this formation is just all about grounding and pounding. What I like to do here, so if we audible to RB, which is PA Saints Cross, or yeah, RB, PA Saints Cross, and what I like to do is I like to send A on a slant. So now we kind of have like these mesh routes coming. So here's our fake. And now we have X wide open. Now you just possession caught that. Another play I like to come out in, especially if they're loading just that right side with the halfback off tackle. If you just keep gashing them with that halfback off tackle, a great play to counter them is counter weak. So this is what the play looks like. I don't make any adjustments. Hike the ball. Just read your holes. And if they're loading that right side, this play is great. But Todd Gurley did most of the work there. But if they're just loading that right side and you guys are getting them with that halfback, ta halfback off tackle, this counter weak should do pretty good. You see, we're just reading our holes and we're picking up five every time. I can't tell you guys enough how good this formation is with establishing the run. Another run, another good running play is quick toss. Just read your block. See, like this is a, a perfect formation that the defense came out. And it looks like they're kind of filling the box. And we can hit them to the outside with the toss. And there it is, guys. We just picked up a touchdown with the halfback toss. And this plays pretty much you're playing a chess match with your opponent. And whoever plays the right play is going to get the best yards, obviously. Um, but this this play has so many different options that you can run. And you can throw them off in so many different ways. Let me show you another play I like to audible to is this inside post. And my first read is X. I like to look at X. And if he's covered, throw A. Uh, this is a great zone beater. Um, especially if he's using that middle linebacker. He's going to have to pick and choose between. He's got to pick and choose between reads. So it looks like here they're, they're filling the box. So we're going to go back to our halfback toss. And we're just going to read what the defense has given us. There it is again, guys. Another touchdown with the halfback toss. Let's run. Let's see if we can run that inside post. So here it is. We're just reading what the defense has given us. There's A again sitting over the middle. That's an extra five yards. Um, especially this plays really good if they try to bring a blitz. Uh, that swing route should be definitely open right away. There it is. If you have a good running back, he should be able to break that first tackle, especially if it's against a corner. So X is our first read. A is our second read, and Y is our third read. So we're just going to wait to see what the defense has given us. They're going to give us the swing route open to the left, and we're just picking up a nice 20 yards right there. It's all about just making the right read and switching it up. You don't want to run the same play over and over and over because then your opponent's going to end up catching on. But if you do run that halfback tackle or that halfback toss, that counter weak is a great play to run. Um, another play I like to run, guys, is the PA scissors. And this plays great. Um, I like to look for A right away. If not, I like to see X come across. So we're just going to read it. There's A and then there's X. Um, so let's run that one more time. So this is how I like to look at the, at the play, guys. Um, this is what the play looks like. I don't make any adjustments. RB is my first read. A is my second read. 
and X is in my third read. Um, the reason for RB being my, my first read is because if they're playing a cover three, which means your corners are playing purples, RB should be open right away. Um, if the corners are playing a cover two, A should be open right away because that safe, or that corner is going to come down to the flat route and that corner should be wide open. And if um, they're paying me like a cover six, so they're playing a purple and a blue, X should be coming across the middle of the field. Which is RB. Looks like he's covered, so we're going to look for X. So let's make an adjustment here. Um, let's go with the inside post and we're going to look for X. There he is right there. It's all just about switching it up and making the right read here. We'd run a run. We'd run a run halfback toss, which is, is in which is not in our uh, audibles. So we're just gonna stick with the PA post. There it is, guys. Corners beat man. Another play I like to run out of this, guys, is the uh, the wide trail. So with this, I don't really like to make any adjustments. You can maybe flood the right side. You can send Gurley on a on a swing route. So now you have RB as a lead blocker and Gurley as catching the pass. But what I like to look for here, guys, is I like to look for B first. And then I like to look for A coming across. So we're going to look B first. And there's B right there. Just a nice little touch pass picking up 10. And this play, you don't really have to do much. Uh, you can leave Gurley to block or you can send him. And he'll just give you uh, an extra route. But we're going to look for B again. There he is coming across the middle of the field. We just picked up another 10 yards right there. This play is pretty good. You can run it on the goal line. That's a great two-point uh, two play. But now we're going to wait for A to come across the middle of the field, and there he is. Out of this formation, guys, you guys just have so many options and so many ways to uh, mess with your opponent and uh, give them headaches. Uh, you should easily be able to score points, especially if you play your cards right. Establish the run first. Just hit them with these pass plays. I definitely like the halfback off tackle, quick toss, and then my counter weak. I know you can go and make offensive audibles, so if you do do that, I highly recommend you put quick toss, halfback off tackle, counter weak, and a um, PA scissors. Those would be my three plays, or my four plays, and then you can add whatever other one that you guys want. So let's come out on the halfback off tackle one more time, just so I can show you guys what the play looks like. And there it is, guys. We just picked up an easy 20 yards. Todd Gurley's a beast. Um, so here, guys, I'll switch it up. I'll run halfback dive because they're loading that right side. So let's come out. We just picked up a nice five yards right there. There it is, guys. This is the offensive mini scheme strong close out of the New Orleans Saints playbook. These are just my recommendations for you guys. You guys don't have to do them if you guys don't really think this is a good idea or if you guys think this scheme is dumb. You guys don't have to try it, but these are just for people and just these are just tips for those that are struggling on the offensive side of the ball. This is a great formation to run, guys. Uh, establish the run, establish the run, hit them over the top with the pass. Um, but yeah, this is the end of the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it and you guys are wanting more offensive schemes, maybe I can come out with the full offensive scheme and maybe like a full playbook, give you guys different formations that you guys would want to run. Um, if you guys are looking for some defensive tips, let me know. I have a few defensive formations that I'm running right now and I'm kind of messing around with that I think are really good. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Okay, so the free card that I was telling you guys about on the defensive side of the ball is this 80 overall middle linebacker, Dion Buchanan from the Arizona Cardinals. Production.